Ain't no one listening to me. I haven't had a like hit on Facebook. I think it's been 45 days now. And whoever that is, I don't even know. They weren't on my friends list. They just, you notice how that happens? People just appear like packs of 10 and 20 and 30. Appear on your friends list. Some of them look like they're clones and shit. There's like 15 versions of me out there online. Now, this is an incentive to me. What do you mean, Don? It goes back to the whole paradoxical thing. You can't really figure him out because we don't know where the paradoxes lie. They're hidden. It's a latent power of his. See, someone apparently tried to cut my, slip my tongue, literally. No, I'm serious. I don't know who it was or what. I knew what had happened. I was asleep. Down the side of my, I, I mean, I, I don't think I could have done it on my own. That's why I talk like Sidney Brady now. And I woke up and I remember someone said to you, shut the fuck up last night. And now you wake up and your tongue is slit. I started spitting blood like a motherfucker, dude. And talking as loud as I fucking could. And I thought to myself, this is not normal. I am not a normal person if after that intimidation, I kept talking. But that's what you're made to do, Don. That's why you're so goddamn sexy. I know. Now, some people would say, sexy? <laughs> Anything but no. That's the beauty of it. Why would this man say he's sexy? He's not lying. See, he can sound sarcastic. He can put a little twist on it. Put a little sugar on it to make it seem fun. To give it to the masses. To the children. He's kind of like Michael Jackson in that way. But he doesn't have a Neverland Ranch. No. Oh, I'm not ashamed to say I'm like Michael Jackson. You guys fucked up. You crucified that motherfucker. See, bearing false witness. You know, just in case, like... The clouds open up and the God of heaven comes down upon you with great wrath. You're going to be like, well, you know, fuck your rules, man. Yeah, I just want to see you say that. Okay, well, I, I, I didn't break any of the rules. Oh, you didn't. What about I shall not vape? <laughs> That's not one of the commandments, I don't think. But it doesn't really matter what the commandments are. Because remember, the man-made laws, do you never notice how like very few of them, only murder, I think, and stealing, or even laws? But there's like a billion other laws, right? You can't do this, you can't do that. In fact, people who punished you for that didn't even know that there's laws that say that they can't even do that to you. You know, you go park at a, at a spot where it says customers only. You know, in a mini mall or out on the street. You can't park here, we'll tow you. Vehicle code 929256, you know. They have to wait a whole hour before they can even call the tow company. You, know, you want to bet? Look it up, at least in California. And the person that owns that property, not the businessman, not the manager at Baskin Robbins, the actual owner of the lot has to be present to sign for the towing. Now, how do I know this? Because L.A., they had a huge sting operation where they busted these tow truck drivers, literally parked in the parking lot waiting for you to park there and then hooking up your car and towing it away before you got done with the ATM machine. And so they said, let us be perfectly clear. And this is a very, rather bold thing because they're not going to tell you this shit. The people who own the media own the banks, man. You think that's all hype? <laughs> Every day, another conspiracy theorist gets vindicated I get vindicated almost every day because I got so many truths to tell you they don't call them conspiracy theorists and truths see why would they do that conspiracy theorists are liars what's another name for conspiracy theorists the truthers because they think they know the truth no 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 they don't say they know the truth they wouldn't dare do that they're saying that they know what the lie is they know what the lie is so if you hate against that well then who's your daddy you know that seems to be happening in this country right now people are suppressing the truth Willful, willful ignorance. I think that should be a sin. Now it's not. But if you know something's true and you don't stand up for it, would that be bearing false witness? Yes. No, yes. No, yes. I thought it was if I make up a big lie about somebody. Okay, so you get, you're going to get doubled on that. <laughs> you're going to get a big, real big trouble. Yeah, I think about that. God does not want us to make up stories and, and, and say bullshit in the courtroom. And, and I mean, people still do that. Look at the Bill Cosby thing. 60 of the cases got dismissed because they're all proven to be hoaxes but they got him on one case i'm like at that point you got to dismiss the whole fucking thing man come on he bought a chick quaaludes like 50 years ago and now that chick turned into a, a man like and nobody said anything the women of all people should have stood up to that guy look at the molly tibbets murder in the midwest you, uh, trump comes out and speaks illegal aliens killed her illegal aliens killed her everyone's cheering and rawing him he hadn't even gone to court yet and it's the, it's the women of that town that have watched that court case and been like he's getting railroaded sure enough they didn't read him his miranda rights you got to be kidding me that was on CBS News. That was an FBI, like, nationwide hunt for whoever took her or where she was. Oh, they let, he let her send to the body. 
why was the body right in the area where they were searching, like, for months? And he says that that's not true. Yeah, I know. And then the police report says he blacked out and doesn't remember how he murdered her. He said that he blacked out? Or you said he blacked out because you don't have any evidence of that. They told him they had evidence of her hair in his car. False. They lied to him the whole time. They didn't read him his rights until the 11th hour of a 12-hour interview. And he says in the interview, I did not kill her. I did not. I don't know her. And they said, we know you're guilty. This is, I'm, I'm not making this up. We know you're guilty. We can see it in your eyes. And he doesn't speak English. Well, then we should just punish him. That's exactly what you think, isn't it? Who got entrapped now, you demons? But it's so amazing to see that the people in Iowa, and you don't even hear about that. So you could hear about it when their, their kid dies, their little farm girl dies, right? But when it turns out that they're out there going, hey, quit talking shit about our friends and saying that we're the, the, the pedestal for where you can say illegal immigrants are killing people because this guy's innocent and nobody listens to him. Why? Because the same demons that own the banks own the media. Why do you think they took down Facebook? I mean, do you know what kind of money it takes to stage a fake hack by Russia? Okay, do you know what kind of brilliance it takes for me to say a week ahead of time? But you didn't see that, right? Because they now control Facebook. You let them in. You started bashing Facebook. Started holding hands with your man. Don't go on the computer anymore, babe. Yeah, see, you get distracted. It was like he was sent to you by the devil. Why? He didn't want you listening to me. No, I'm, not, I'm serious. I'm serious. This happens. I see it all the time. I won't even know someone was the truth. I won't even know that they are like an awakener. And then all of a sudden, they're like talking, and I'm like, wow, he's going to really, you know, let this person know. It's all innocent. It's just, you know, they're going to wake up. All of a sudden, this punk bitch that looks like he's been going to the gym and is on steroids, but he doesn't go to the gym. He's probably on steroids. He doesn't even go work out. Ha, ah, that is. Whoa, he's, she's gone. She's telling her, her friend, like, hey, you know, stop stalking me. He's like, what are you talking about? Look, I know we've been friends for 10 years, but just don't talk to me anymore. Why? Did your boyfriend tell you that? Yeah, he did. And he's cool, and you're not. Now, why would you bait a person like that? Don't you realize what's going to happen to you? Don't you know? Next thing you know, you got a demon seed up in you. I've seen it a million times, man. Come on. I know what I'm talking about. I'm not sitting here playing a clown all day because uh, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Clearly, I can freak it out a little bit, put a little sugar in its booty. Why? Because I'm so goddamn used to telling the story to you guys. Because I see it come true every day with my friends, with your cousins, with your husbands now. Yeah, booty busting is in effect, apparently. Trump comes into office, and next thing you know, California's on fire. And the illegal aliens are like, um, we didn't even want to come in anymore, man. We've been going in for 40 fucking years. You got your companies over here. What do we want to go to you guys for? You guys got built a wall to get locked in, not to keep people out. That white boy Don told you? Yeah, he did. You got to listen to what I'm saying, because every word I say is going to come true. I'm a magic magician like that. I mean, I'm a Trump. It's a witch hunt, he says. No, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see witch hunt, man. Going into the White House and undoing everything. 51 miles per gallon. Honda. Honda wants to keep going along with its like manufacturing because that process increases mileage for cars. And I'm a race car guy. I keep that in mind. So next year, they're going to be having cars that with 51 miles per gallon. They're going to sell them in California. No, you're not. Why? You won't believe this. But it's true. It's totally true. And it really points out what is going on here. Because Obama, when he was in office, he, I think, was obligated to, actually, to raise the, the mileage for cars from, like, 43 miles per gallon. They now had to have a standard of 46. Now, with the technology, Honda and she even Chevy are, are going forward. They're like, oh, well, that, thank you, and you could put that, you know, um, uh, level there. You want us to reach that. But we're already going to be making 51 mile per gallon cars by the year 2020. Trump says, no, you're not. Why not? You know, you can't sell those cars here. Why? Because Obama tried to extend that. And I'm not going to do what he wants to do. So he's not going to let them sell cars or make cars. They get 51 miles per gallon because it's killing jobs. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Not kidding you. He wants to, re and he's going to remove the 40, w w w the cars in California have to have 46 miles per gallon. And everyone's happy with that. Even the car companies, they love it. They're, they're going to do more. That's what the customers want. And what's he doing? He's undoing that. So now it's going to be illegal to make cars or you can't sell the cars that go over 41 miles per gallon. And he's now reduced what Obama did down back down to 41. He's done this with everything. He's ripped away all the things. You can now put dirty coal waste in the river. I mean, I'm not even kidding you. I'm not even kidding you. You don't hear about that because you think, oh, the liberal media. No, the liberal media ain't telling you shit. It's like, you know, you, you catch your <laughs> best friend's husband out, you know, um, having porno with, with young girls and the neighbors and, 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 and all these other women. And then you come home and be like, well, um, I think I saw your husband kissing another woman. Don't lie, man. Don't lie. And that's exactly what the liberal media is happening right now. They've turned the whole thing 
so far left that you think that like anything you say is radical and really no no you stay far stay far to your left side they're going to see what radical is they have no idea what's really going on i mean if, if you it sounds to me that they would not come out and tell you that you know the harvey weinstein thing you know how they sent um they had agents they had a company called black cube go after what's her name um rose what was her name rose mcgowan yeah they infiltrated her group fake rape victims from this group, came and infiltrated it to get dirt on her so she couldn't sue Weinstein. Well, guess who else hired them to get Obama's people for the Iran deal? We don't know. We want to find out why uh, someone paid them. Someone paid this company big money to what? Go dig up dirt on these people who worked with Obama when we tear up the Iran deal. When did that happen? About a year ago. So Trump had been in office for two years? Yeah. When someone dug up dirt on Obama because he wanted to tear up the Iran deal, which he did anyways, and forgot to tell you that Obama didn't give him $150 billion. They are owed $150 billion for complying. That's why he tore it up. Our banks don't want to pay back the money that we owe them for buying their oil already, that we said we would give them, that England, China, every country on the world except America came through on that deal, where if you cut down your nuclear stuff and you don't fuck up after five years, you can have your money back, not pay them off. You can have your money back. Trump says, oh, we're paying them off. That's a lie. That's a lie. Look at the original contract. And then he says, our allies and us have discussed, none of them support Trump. None of them. They're scared. They're like, we're closer to, to them than you guys are. Why are you fucking up the nuclear deal? And you're pissing off Iran. Because Obama did it. That's, that's, that's what Trump's legacy is going to be. He's, we're going to have to spend at least two years replacing things that are basic common sense things. Because, you know, when we said we want to change, don't act like you don't know what we meant. And don't try to kill hope. It's just really bad. Like, I know you don't understand the mechanisms of the world, but this ain't 1960. I know you went back into a time machine. It's called age regression because you weren't saying the N-word yesterday. And now you can't prove I'm racist. No, we don't have to. We just know it. All right. Now, I don't know what got into your bodies. Okay. But like Alex Jones said, they're interdimensional demons. Hillary Clinton is a goddamn demon. No, she did not come from another dimension, Alex. Alex, I thought you were spiritual. What are you doing as the goddamn spokesperson of truth? And you don't even know what Yahweh is. He doesn't. He's like, so, 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 he's like, dude, I, I've talked to some people. People come up to you and start telling you things about yourself that, you know, they'll know stuff about you and um, they're not they're not guessing. I'm like, yes, I did that for years, man. It's called being an angelic messenger. He said they were demons. Why? So if someone tells you something, you don't, know, you ripped off the lid off of Bohemian Grove. You just found out what that's about when people come up to you and start telling you things that are like, how do they know this about me? <laughs> you think they're demons? Hey, we all, you know, we all get confused sometimes, but that's what happens. That's that's what happens. You get all caught up in that. You know, as soon as he went, like, remember, he wasn't always right wing. They were right wing conspiracy theorists, Alex Jones. Uh, he was not always right wing. He would he would talk. He, he got started in the Bush administration blaming them for nine eleven. That's when his fame first came. So you got to watch your mouth, punks. The media needs to burn. I'm not I'm not really a violent person, but I do advocate it against the major. Major headed people, not the anchors, not the camera guys, not little Bob in the office down there selling the advertising, selling more, you know, medications and shit during the commercial break of the news. No, we want the guys you don't see. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get you, punks, and you ain't going to be able to run back to your country. But you didn't even come from that country. I didn't, country didn't even exist until about 60 years ago, anyways. 70, I guess. 69. 